All right, now we're going to do the elimination method. I'm going to show you how to do it. I'm going to connect it to everything that we've done before, and it's going to show you why it's really easy here, okay? Uh, new words, nothing to be afraid of, okay? First of all, what I want you to think about is that if I said, well, we're dealing with systems of equations, so there's going to be two lines or more, but if I said something like this, if I had um, x plus 5 equals 7, we can see that's 2, okay? No big deal. This, this is a true equation, okay? However, we can, just like in, um, in any fraction or anything like that, I, I can do something to one side, I, like I multiply it by two, but if I do it to this side as well, then that's still true, okay? So it's still true, I just change, I'm changing the look of it from this, Changing the look of it from this to this. It's still true. It's just a different way of looking at the same thing. So I've just doubled it, like doubling the recipe. You double the recipe, you're still going to get your same batch of chocolate chip cookies, right? They're just going to get more of them, right? So this is, this, uh, this is a different way to look at the same equation here, okay? Big, big concept. With variables. Same idea. I can say, well, okay, same idea. It's just a different way of looking at the same thing. That's a piece of cake. That's in the bag. Now I'm going to show you how it works for the elimination method because this is not new, it's just an extension of what you already know. Okay, here's my example. Given this, here's our system of equation. Okay. All right, what I'm going to do here is just like this. We want to, we always want to get our x or y by itself. Here we have this or that. You know, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna, yeah, I'll leave it like that. I can't uh, subtract this from the other because I'll, I won't get x by itself. I'll have, uh, you know, minus two x. Um, I'll have four uh, y. Nothing's going by itself. The trick to eliminating is you want to get the coefficients to be the same number. Okay, I have a one there and a three there. I have a, po a negative 2 and a positive 2 here. They're not the same. Don't get fooled. Okay? What I'm going to do is, it, it, the easiest way to do is find the one that has a single a 1. Okay? What I'm going to do is multiply this top equation, this whole thing, by 3 so that it looks the same as this. Okay? So I'm going to do, do this. Okay, so I'm just going to clear it up here. So now I have 3x plus 6y equals 33. This is my new top line, okay? Then below it I have 3x minus 2y equals 9. Like, like, remember what I said, this is just a different way to view the same equation. It's still true. Okay, now, now I have the same terms here, uh, 3x and a 3x here. So I have the position to eliminate this. What I can do is say, I'll take this equation here to start with, and I'm going to subtract this entire equation, okay? This is a positive 3, it's minus 2, and it's a positive 9. So I'm going to subtract this entire equation, and what do I get? 3x minus a positive 3x is 0x. There's the elimination, it's gone. 6y minus negative 2y is a positive 8y. 33 minus a positive 9 is 24, okay? And then all I have to do is solve, which is something we've done before, solve for y. This is out of the picture now, right? We've eliminated it. y equals 3. Okay? So right off the bat, we've solved and found that y equals 3. Now, all you need to do now is input this into either one of the equations to find out what the corresponding x value is. I'll go into the easiest equation here. Uh, the top one, 1x plus 2y equals 11. If y equals 3, 
1x plus 2 times 3 equals 11. x plus 6 equals 11. Minus 6 minus 6. Okay, um, x equals 5. So now what that means is that you have a graph somewhere where 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 1, 2, 3 here. This is a point where the lines cross in, in whatever direction these lines go. This is the point where they are at the exact same point. This is the solution point. So um, that's how you find it through elimination. We simply got rid of, we, we made them the same here, so we get rid of it. And then you just solve for the remaining variable. Okay? Get rid of one, solve for the remaining variable, and then put it back into, put this into either one of the equations, and you'll get your corresponding uh, coordinate point. You're, you'll get your x or y. Okay? So uh, that's about it. I'll go through some more examples. Hit the rewind if you need to.